सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो सो आफ्टर आर लास्ट जी सी पी वीडियो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल रिक्वेस्टेड दैट आई मेक अ डेडिकेटेड वीडियो ऑन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल प्रोटोकॉल बिकॉज एवरी वन वॉज क्यूरियस दैट वॉट एग्जैक्टली प्रोटोकॉल कंटेंट्स एंड हाउ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल प्रोटोकॉल इज डिजाइन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ अ क्लिनिकल ट्रायल प्रोटोकॉल इज डिजाइन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्रोटोकॉल एंड हाउ इट इज इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट so in this particular session we will learn five important parameters of the protocol first we will understand what is protocol and how it is important in clinical research followed by how the protocol is designed what are the components of the protocol what are the regulatory and ethical consideration in designing a protocol as well as how a protocol is important in the conduct of the clinical trial so these are the five fundamental principle that we are going to follow and understand the clinical trial protocol now there are some fundamentals of the protocol that you must understand so a research protocol or a clinical trial protocol must clearly and in detail describe the following aspect firstly the protocol should explain why the study is being done next what will be done in this particular study next question it should answer is where this study will be done whether it is a multi site trial whether whether it is site specific what information have they given to incorporate for local protocol versions and requirements next they should answer who is involved in the study okay which all investigator which all stakeholders are involved and finally when the study interventions will take place what is the drug design how what is the drug intervention so these are five fundamental questions that should be answered by a protocol the first uh, portion is the protocol details so whenever you see a protocol so it will clearly have a protocol title which will have a unique identification number a version number and a date because the protocol gets updated so it gets versioned up and the date also changes so that particular identification number should be there next thing it should explain the name and address of the sponsor and the monitor if required it should also mention the name and title of the person who is authorized to sign the protocol and the protocol amendment from the sponsor's end as well as the name and titles of the investigators responsible to conduct this study the address the telephone number and the sites okay again there should be details such as name address title of the sponsor's medical expert the qualified physician who will be responsible to handle medical queries as well as details for the clinical laboratory involves the technical departments involved and which laboratory and institution would be participating in the trial so one particular section of the protocol would be protocol details where all the details of all participating member would be explained next section would be the clinical trial background so in background they will have a description of the issue okay which particular disease are we targeting and they will address whether it has any significance to the public health and what particular is the significance they will also explain whether there are any clinical or non clinical studies that are being conducted before this particular protocol implementation what are the significance observed in that particular study and how we will conduct this particular study next thing they will have summary of the potential risk and benefits to the human participants who will be participating in this protocol there will also be a statement that the trial will be conducted in compliance to the protocol gcp and the applicable regulatory requirement so that will satisfy the regulatory as well as the gcp criteria followed by a description of the study population which particular population would this protocol target and include as well as it will have any relevant literature or data that can be helpful to understand how this protocol was designed and why it is designed in a certain way to include how many and what type of subjects also it would involve the investigational product or therapy and what particular drug is involved in this particular protocol and clinical trial and there would also be a justification why we are doing this particular study and what is the proper uh, mode of administration dosage uh, regime and treatment periods involved in this particular clinical trial so this is the trial background that will be clearly mentioned in a protocol the next section and one of the most important is the study design 
So in this particular section of the study design in the protocol, it will have all the scientific uh, integrity and credibility data that is obtained from the study, largely depending on the study design. Okay, that's why design is the most important aspect and it will clearly describe what is the primary and the secondary endpoint and how they will be measured followed by whether this is a single blinded or double blinded study and what is the schematics of it and the procedure involved at different stages. So it will even have a diagram how the dosing would be done, what is the frequency, whether the dose would be increasing, whether it will be uh, escalating or de-escalating and what would be the concentration at different time points. It will also explain whether it is a randomized trial, whether there is a blinding, how the unblinding will perform as well as what is the dosage, dosage regime, packaging, uh, labeling of the investigational product followed by the duration of the study participation, what is the sequence and how this uh, particular protocol would implement in the follow up followed by what are the accountability procedures of the investigational product and whether there will be any placebo control study or any comparator study. So it will clearly have explanation in its design followed by are there any identification of data that is recorded directly into the case report form and what is considered to be a source data. So that will also be clearly defined in the study design. Okay, so this is particular study design in the protocol and it will be clearly mentioned in a particular section. Next section would be the participant selection. Now you must understand if a protocol is designed to target a particular drug for a particular patient population, it needs to clearly define which participant would be eligible for this particular trial. It will have a section for inclusion and exclusion criteria of the study participant followed by what are the withdrawal procedures of the participant who want to withdraw from the study once they get randomized. Then when and how to withdraw the subject, which particular investigational product shall be stopped or continued what is the post uh, study access for the subject what is the type and timing of the data that will be collected from the subjects what is the uh, withdrawal of the lab samples the blood samples what is the compensation what is the frequency of the visit and whether and how the participant are to be replaced if the participant get drop out from the intended targets and how the follow up would be conducted for study participant so when it comes to participant selection, it will clearly define which particular age group, which particular disease criteria, what is the inclusion, what is the exclusion, how they can withdraw, how they can enroll, whether the screening, re-screening is allowed, how they will be followed, what particular sampling would be done. So it will be clearly explained in the participation section of the patient selection. So this is end of part one. So it is a quite a big video for protocol to be explained. So in the next week, I'll bring part two where I'll take from this session and I'll continue in the next section. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that the next video, whenever it comes in the next week, you will get notified. And thank you for watching this video. Please make sure uh, that you like, share and subscribe to our channel so that it brings us additional motivation to make such amazing quality content. Thank you. Thank you.